let's use the Bios of our law to calculate the magnetic field at the center of a loop of current. We've talked about how a loop is very fundamental in terms of magnetism, a loop of current. So we will um, be talking more about loops of current, but for now let's just get B in the center of a current loop. And for our loop, we'll assume a current I, wow, it's unbelievable, current I and radius A. Okay, just at the center. So here we go. Let's go ahead and draw our current loop like this. And the current, we'll say, is going around in that direction. Where is it coming from? I don't know. There's no battery. It's just a current loop of a superconducting wire, say. No resistance. So the current will go on and on forever. So we know we start with Bio Savar, that the little elemental uh, differential element of magnetic field B, dB, that is due to a little piece of the current dS is equal to mu naught I over 4 pi, so permeability of free space, current 4 pi times, let's see, it's dS crossed with r hat over r squared. That's B of r. So if we want to draw these vectors in here, let's see. Well, i is already there. ds we've already drawn. r is from the ds to the place where we're measuring or we're calculating the magnetic field. So we're doing it in the center of the circle. So r would look like this, like that. So for that ds, there's the r. Therefore, r hat is the little unit vector in that direction, and it changes as you go around the circle. And r with nothing on it, we'll say, is just the magnitude. That's just the, the value of the radius. Okay. So all we got to do then to get big B is to do the integral, integrate around the circle. So let's see. Well, it always bothers us to have our differential involved in a cross product inside of our integral, that's a little bit scary. So let's think about what will always be true for ds and r. As you go around the circle, ds will always be perpendicular to r hat. Right? When you're down here, there's ds, there's r, there's r hat. You can imagine as you go around, they'll always be perpendicular. And um, another thing is that the direction ds cross r hat is always in what direction? It's always going to stick out. If we have ds cross r, it sticks out. So the b field will stick out here, or that component of the b field will stick out. ds cross with r, out. db for that piece will stick out. db for every piece will stick out. So let's make a coordinate system, because I know it bothers you when I just write out with a with with a hat on it. So here's x, here's y, x cross y is z, so z sticks out. So it'll always stick out in z, or as we like to call it, a k hat direction. So that's what we know. If they're perpendicular, then the angle between them is 90 degrees and sine of 90 is 1, so it's really down to just the magnitudes. So let's see what that does. Um, also, yeah, let's see what that does. Let's write then b is the integral, add up all the dBs. And for the path, let's just write a circle. We want to go around the circle. So this is sort of like a closed loop. Okay, It doesn't have to be. You can do B O sub R on an open path. But let's, just for this purpose, we're going around a closed loop. So that's equal to the integral of this thing. Let's go ahead and pull out all the constants. Anything that's constant doesn't need to be in the integral. The permeability of free space is constant, I hope. I, the current, is constant over 4 pi, 4 pi is constant. Let's see, the ds clearly has to stay in the integral. That'll just be the magnitude of, of ds, because we took care of the cross product. r hat, its magnitude is just 1, so we don't worry about that. A little r, uh, this is the radius, but it's actually a constant, right? The magnitude of the r vector is, is always a constant. So r, the magnitude of the r vector, which is what we just call r, always equals a, the radius of the circle. 
So we can actually pull that r squared out and just go ahead and call it a squared, like that. So we have mu naught i over 4 pi a squared. And all that's left is the integral around the loop of ds. Everything else is gone. The sine to 90 is 1. r hat magnitude is 1. That came out. It's just the integral of ds around the circle. So if you are familiar at all with calculus, and maybe a little bit of vector calculus, you know that if you integrate this little ds around the circle, that's a length, and it's just the circumference of the circle. That's all it is. So when you see that, you can just call it 2 pi times a. But if that step bothers you, I'll even I'll do that for you. Let's see. So b, I'm just going to go super explicit, mu naught i over 4 pi a squared. Right? So if we wanted to convert this from ds to something we can actually integrate, well, you could integrate in terms of theta, couldn't you? You could call it theta. So we could say this is the integral from 0 to 2 pi going around a circle. And then you've got to think about what is ds? Well, ds is this vector. You could also describe it as the radius a times d theta. Right? If you're going from uh, uh, looking at polar coordinates, the way you define a differential around the circle is the radius times the d theta. So you could, if you wanted to, write this as a d theta. Okay? Integrate with respect to theta. Uh, the a is just a constant. It comes out. Integral of d theta is theta. Evaluated at 2 pi and 0, and you just have 2 pi. So what do you get? You get 2 pi times the radius, which is a circumference. So often you'll see in books, and when people lecture, you'll see that, and you'll just write the circumference without really doing an integral, which is also why I did a circle on it. It's like we're just going around a circle. So the integral around a circle of ds, 2 pi times the radius. Or you can do this. Either way you do it, a 2 pi a ends up in the top. And its direction, I'm forgetting to write it here, is k hat. So either way you do it, you get a b that's mu naught i 2 pi times a. That a is going to cancel. So there's no a in the top. And the 2 from there cancels that 4 into a 2. The pi's cancel. This pi cancels that pi, and you're left with that. So you get that the B field at the center of the loop, the current loop, is mu naught times i over 2 times the radius of the loop. And that's only in the center. And it sticks out in the k direction. To get the direction, if you don't want to do all the, the ds cross r vectors, you just right hand rule. Everything's a right hand rule. So in this case, something that goes around goes with your fingers. Your fingers go along the current, and your thumb will stick out always in the direction of the um, in the direction of the B field. Okay. All right. We'll do another complicated case in a minute.